everyone, and welcome to the third episode of this series. In this episode, I'm going to start working on a temporary um, mob farm. Though it may be a permanent one because of where it is. Anyways, I need to cut down these trees first so I have enough space. And let me see. I guess I also just was trying to look for food and kind of got a little distracted here. And my cat wanted to say hello to everyone. Yeah. Or are you telling me that you want food? Food? You gotta wait. You gotta wait t um, 18 minutes, please. No? Anyways, you'll probably be hearing my cat, um, sniffing the microphone and moving the thing I'm using as a stand. Anyways, the mob thing actually was kind of working, but I was going to make a more efficient one, even if it's temporary. And I just, I started to work on expanding this, but I real quickly um, ditched this to in favor f to, of a different project during the night that would make more sense. And she, my cat is trying to help with going on and I can't see what's going on on the screen now. Hey, 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 come on. Hey. Oh, sorry about that. Um, let's see. Uh, pause that. Oh, it looks like I was gathering dirt at the slant. I do fill this in a little bit, but I realize I'm going to be digging this up in like a few minutes to um, get the cobblestone down. And let me see. I started to fill up the back area, which I know it's going to be less likely going to be dug up. At this point, I do waste, did kind of waste time doing this. Because I was just going to dig it back up. At least in a certain area of this. Oh, and yet, the last video, I was a little distracted when I was recording. You kind of do notice that. I'm talking about the actual video recording and not the voiceover because I record the video first and then talk over it because the con being able to concentrate better that way. And this is the project I was starting. I was going to move my storage up here just to, because it makes more sense. When I thought I was going to make the chest a wall, but I decided against it eventually, real quickly. And I just fixed it up with some anersite to make a wall behind it. And I did put some cobblestone down. Make sure that it was lit, lit up to make sure it's not spawning mobs down there. I 
I was trying to keep my stuff in order, but they get it gets a little mixed up at some points. And I found where the chunk starts and ends here, and I'm just kind of digging it out. I was just going to do a single layer for this, but I do change my mind again. I made a double layer of cobblestone. To, for the temporary or permanent mob farm that I'm building here. At the moment, I'm just building on the ground level to um, make a storage area. Even though it's going to be higher up. But that's um, that storage area is going to be when I actually have like an iron farm grow up and going. And this is the point where I decide that I want the chest forward one and I want that wall instead of having this random chest due to that temporary mob farm being there too. I do know how it is it works spawning wise. So I wasn't expecting to much out of it. And I'm finally moving the last few chests. I'm also going to move my museum chest into another room and leave that as an open space in the front. And I just put the oven and the crafting bench over there and now I'm working on the storage center another storage area and my cat is giving me such dirty looks right now cuz she wasn't allowed to help with this anyways I'm kinda setting the border of the chunk so I can start digging out the dirt and put some cobblestone in. It does kind of help empty out my storage a little bit. Because I did the one layer, I have to dig underneath the cobblestone a little bit. Which is no problem because it's just one layer. Knowing me, I'm probably going to change my mind up again about the cobblestone. Anyways, I was fixing the terrain a little bit so it looks nice. So it's not just random cobblestone suddenly. And I was just trying to move the stuff that I have for storage and ex and then also expand it a little bit so I can have more um, storage for this stuff because I will eventually need that. And now it makes more sense the way I have it. At least how I feel makes more sense. Gotta make some more tools. I have to be careful not to dig the wall on that one area because of the chickens being in there. And I continue on with this here. I 
I do run out of cobblestone doing this, so I had to dig up more cobblestone eventually, but I went back to fixing the terrain as best as I could. Make it um, where I'm able to get up and down a little bit easy. Easy. But I still would have to use the jump key. I get rid of the gravel because I don't like walking on the gravel in the game. I had to be careful because there's a witch in there somewhere. Hopefully I do finish this, um, the train in this episode. I forgot to put gra gravel in the one chest, so I did put it in there. Resupplied my cobblestone while I'm digging. At this point, this is when I kind of forget about this project and do other projects during night. But I'll come back to this part again. Because I know I'm not going to let this go and leave it like this forever. At this point, I was thinking that I was going to make the ground level in this part at Y64, but I think I changed, I'm going to change my mind on that one. Because I did do a bit of effort here to make this part. And because of the way I'm going to be building this, I will have to to um, not, not go the way I want it originally. I was looking for like wood and food at this moment. I did find some pumpkins on, along the way. Oh, there's the border at 500. Well, f technically 502. I found a village here, and I do replant because, just to be nice. I know I'm not going to be able to make up that hill right now, so I kind of wander around, killed off some chickens and a couple sheep. Because I really needed the food at this point. Also, I needed to get other wood here since I'm right here. And I found the kind of the corner of the corner here and I dug myself down for the night and kind of AFK for a little while and also cook some food. And I was trying to make myself safe in the in here so because of creepers. At this point I probably needed to get some coffee and I did organize my stuff in my inventory. Luckily I have keep inventory on at this point. Even though I got that far from base, I don't prefer not to have to walk back all the way there, but I don't want to lose my stuff. At this point, I was trying to get some more dirt, and I blew, got blown up by a creeper, and I had to do the death thing. So that took a little bit there.
anyways, when I get back into the game, I'm going to go find some oak trees so I can get some oak wood saplings. Oak tree saplings. And I decide to go this way for some reason. It looks like the the ice planes go on for quite a while this way. I kind of have a getting the feeling that the most of this is going to be cold taiga or ice planes most of the 500 by 500 area. I collect from a couple trees because I wanted more than one sapling just to be safe so I don't have to go back over here real soon. Anyways, I was making my way back before it becomes dark. Cause I know it's going to take a while. Took some of the extra meat. I forgot that I wanted to save one of the couple porks for the collection. So I end up cooking all the pork. So I will have to go back out of the main base area to find more pigs eventually. But that's for me to worry about another time. Since I kind of want to keep my stuff out of my inventory for the most part, out of habit because of usually I don't have keep inventory on, I like it on, but I don't want to always have it on either. So I kind of make it a habit to put my stuff away in the chest. I guess I went and dig a little bit more. Made sure it was all lit up there. Because I probably just needed a little bit of cobblestone just to finish the face here. I realize I never put an oven and a crafting bench in my in my um museum chest. I went AFK here because I knew it was close to the end. Here, I kind of mess read what was going on and kind of. AFK for a little bit more. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!